Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, forgot to upload for like, well, yeah, a long time. Um, but today we're gonna be we're gonna be making a uh, a thing. I don't know. Um, a first person character like game where you're able to grab physics objects and like throw them around. Uh, so. Now to start off, uh, we're gonna actually, you know, make the first person character. So I'm just gonna get a plane and for just a floor type of thing. And then use a capsule for a character. And then I'll, I'll name the capsule like player. And then here as well. You can tag the player. Um, the next thing you have to do is parent, uh, just drag it on top of the player, uh, and then, and then here you gotta zero it out, and actually, yeah, that's, that's actually the perfect height, um, so there, and then over here we add a rigid body, um, and then we constrain, we, we freeze the rotation for all of them, all X, Y, and Z, all of the rotation, so it doesn't like fall over or something like that. Um, and then, and then we add a component, a character script. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, But yeah, I'm gonna name it character script. And here you can open up. So once you have it all opened up, um, you're just gonna. I mean, I'm just gonna do this. I like just cleaning it up. Um, so here we're gonna add a variable, and that's our rigid body. And we're gonna name it. I mean, I'm gonna name it RV. You can name it whatever you want. Um, set it to transform so this is going to be the start of it uh, dot forward forward uh, and this is the f the the forward direction so we're going to multiply that by input dot get axis um, vertical vertical so, and also make sure that you spell it exactly like this, so then it works per uh, correctly. Um, and another thing is you, that you can do is uh, you can do a public float uh, called speed, and then over here we multiply it by speed, except. Um, before it is equal to cursor lock mode dot locked and that will lock the cursor in place except we're also going to need another thing um, if we play it right now uh, it won't well here let me cursor dot visible or visible is equal since if we did plus equal it would be uh, inverted and it's fine maybe, maybe you like it that way and you can keep it like that input dot get axis and instead of mouse x we're going to do mouse y because that's this is our mouse y and the reason why we're going to use variable well you'll see that um, a little bit later but here transform dot rotation is equal to math f dot clamp like clamp and then here so it'll show you the um, the things you have to put in y rot and then the minimum of what we have to do I'll just put negative like 60 and then to 60 and this will um, lock us so then we don't turn all the way over um, so let's see here, just gonna wait for it to load, and then here, uh, -huh. 
And then here, I cannot move any more, any more down. It locks this as 60. As you can see here, it'll here 60. It'll stay at 60. Um, and that is also negative 60, as you can see. And you can go like as far as you want, um, but I like I like doing like 90 or 80. But here we're gonna do 60. Um, so that's actually it for the first person. Um, so now we're gonna do the. Um, the grabbing objects uh, with physics. So right now we're just going to actually add some objects like cubes here. Um, and we have to actually give them rigid bodies. So then they, they're actually physics objects. Rigid bodies. Here we go. Um, you don't have to change anything here, just give them the rigid body. And uh, let's create another one. Let's like get a We'll just get like two cubes and maybe maybe a sphere here. Alright. Oh yeah, and then I'll get a cylinder. Let's get a cylinder right here. Alright, so here is our objects. Now I will quickly add some rigid bodies to all of these. Quickly. Uh oh, that's wrong. And then here, all right. So these objects will now like react to physics and stuff like that. So um, now we're gonna go to the camera script like we are right now. And then here um, we put if input dot mouse or get mouse get mouse button uh, down actually. And then here we're gonna have the um, here we'll you can do like zero is the left click, one is the the right click, and then three two is the middle click. So we're gonna do left click. Um, you can do whatever you, which whichever button you want. Um, and then here I'm gonna put an else statement and if, but nothing in it yet. Um, here we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna make a variable up here, uh, raycast. We're gonna make a raycast hit with hit um, here, and then here we're gonna put an and, and then put physics dot raycast here, and then we're gonna make our raycast transform dot position. That is the position of your camera. Transform dot forward, and we're gonna need, and then this is for the direction. Um, here, we're gonna put out hit, and that is our hit. And then after this, we'll put like 10, and this will be our distance. Actually, here, this is our, this is the distance of how far the raycast will travel um, to hit something. Now the out hit, or the this variable that we have up here, um, this will tell us every the information of um, the things that we hit. So like here, we're gonna check. Um, you can also do this in the same if statement. So you can do and hit dot uh, transform dot get component. Um, rigid body. All right. So this we're we're gonna leave it like that because we are checking if the object that we hit um, has a rigid body, and this is how you ask it that. Um, so after that, after we've made sure that there is a rigid body, we um, we put a. Oh yeah, we have to actually have a. Um, a game object and then grabbed object and I just put obj or actually let me make this lowercase I don't like doing uppercase uh, named variables 
I mean, besides the float y rot. Um, so you put grabbed object. It is it is clear. So then we are not holding it anymore. Um, so we set the our game object variable to null, which is nothing. That's what null means. Um, so here, or null is nullified. Here we're going to put if um, game object, um, this, or not game object, we're going to do grabbed obj. Um, here you can actually, uh, th this, if you put this here, equal to, um, okay, yes, I actually forgot an important thing. Um, so here we're going to actually make another uh, a variable. So we need the grab grab position. All right. So here um, we're just going to load it. So here we're going to have a an empty game object. We're going to attach it to the main camera and then zero it out, of course. Zero, zero, zero. And then we're going to look at the forward. So this is the location of where you want the game object, um, to the, the grabbed objects that you're grabbing uh, will like gravitate towards. Um, so here, that's that's where that's where I want it. We just attach it to the to the main camera, and then we drag it out. And then make sure you go to uh, the the camera and actually. Oh wait, we actually have to stop all this from happening. So I'm just gonna clear this. We're gonna have to clear that. Um, so then there isn't any errors. Open it up. And then here, as you can see, you can set the transform to the our game object, and it'll, this this will get the game object's transform. Um, so here we're going to take away the that, and then here we're going to get grab position dot position, of course, and then minus the grabbed object dot position or no transform that position here we go all right so this will make our um, make the gr the grabbed object gravitate towards our um, position and um, now let's see how this works out right now so here this is what we have. We grab it. And as you can see, the object is gravitating towards the middle. Now, as you can see, it's very slow, um, but this is how you fix it. We're, we're going to fix it right now. Um, so here, we're going to have a, we're going to put brackets over here, over this part, and then we're going to have 10 times this. So we're going to have, we're going to multiply the velocity times 10, the, or the velocity that we just had now times 10, so then it's faster. Um, it'll uh, come to the middle faster, and it'll look like we're, we, we're holding it and grabbing it. So here, we click on an object, and as you can see, is it, it is in the middle, and it also it, it also is able to collide with things. You can smash it around, you can grab other objects, you can launch it, and there it goes. And then, of course, it all it works with any object with a rigid body. Um, here we go, like that. So yeah, this is the end of the tutorial. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope you guys found this helpful. Oh, well, hope you guys found this helpful, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that will be.